Perspective on all of this, we're going to turn now to Paris Denard, RNC national spokesperson and director of Black Media Affairs, also a member of Black Voices for Trump. Paris, good to see you. Thanks for having me. Of course, yeah. So, you know, I, we've watched this happen. The Georgia comments, again, they won't go away. Biden throwing gas all over a race fire every chance he gets. Uh, he ran as a unifier, Joe Biden did. And the irony is he has been so divisive on race. What do you think of that? I think this is part of the Democrat playbook. They have no interest in unifying the country. They have no interest in uh, being people who bring people together. They want to divide the nation upon racial lines to separate us and keep us apart because that's how they make their money. That's how they create their power. Okay. It's based on lies. It's based on fear. And it's based on division. And it's unfortunate because the country wants us to heal. They want us to come together. and They want our government to work in a bipartisan fashion to get things done, to make things better. If Democrats like Joe Biden and others that are in office cared about uh, the, the criminal justice reform, they would have passed Senator Tim Scott's Justice Act. Yeah. Uh, when Kamala Harris was a senator, she refused to uh, work with them on that act. Uh, and, and if you recall, Senator Dick Durbin called it a token piece of legislation. The Democrats are not interested in anything but dividing the nation upon racial lines, playing the race card from the bottom of the deck, because that's the only thing that they have to go on. It's cheap, it's disgusting, and it's beneath the character of many of the people that are serving on the Democrat side. And I think Americans are going to reject it come 2020 and, and usher in a new wave of Republican leaders to take control and to actually get things done like they saw during yeah. the Trump administration. Yeah, yeah. Coming up in the, the midterms are not far away, a year and a half till 2022. Um, Kristen Clark. Uh, today was in the news. Biden's nominee for the Department of Justice. She once wrote an op-ed supporting defunding the police. Today at her confirmation hearing, Senator Tom Cotton questioned her about the Obama Justice Department decision not to charge the officer that killed Michael Brown. Take a listen to this. Police officers all around America can see today that you won't even agree with Vanita Gupta and Eric Holder that Darren Wilson was justified in the shooting of Michael Brown in 2014. I've, I've not seen that re report or read it thoroughly, and I'd welcome the opportunity to do so, Senator. She went on to say that, that she felt something about the Michael Brown case, that the, the fact that the Obama Justice Department didn't put a charge on the cop there seemed unfair. Now, for everybody at home, Michael Brown charged the police officer, it's all been proven, tried to take his weapon away from him, and then got shot and killed and became a martyr for it. Uh, what did you think about her response today and how she handled this confirmation? I think it's just another example of the hypocrisy of the left and the people that are serving the Biden administration. They create false narratives that fits their uh, their, their storyline. And then when you are confronted with the hypocrisy of the things that they say, they plead the fifth and act like they don't know what's going on. It's sort of like Kamala Harris acting as if she doesn't know that she's in charge of the border crisis right. or that uh, they're not responsible for the Major League Baseball uh, leaving Georgia based off a false narrative about the law, which actually expands voting. Right. These Democrats are shameless in their false narratives, and they need to be called out. And I, I appreciate people like Senator Cotton and others that are holding them accountable. That's exactly what the RNC is going to continue to do every single day, every single time they spread their lies and smears about Republicans or about former President Trump right. or about sitting uh, laws that are actually expanding voting and helping Americans and bringing us together. Because as you mentioned earlier, the vast majority of minorities and, and all Americans in this country support things like voter ID. So I just think it's part of the hypocrisy of right. the left and the Biden administration. Yeah, understood. Very well put. Paris Sennard, RNC national spokesperson, director of Black Media Affairs, Sir, thank you so much for the time. Good to see you. Thanks for having me.